Hey everybody, Anne here, and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to use UCut Video Editor on your phone to make videos for YouTube. I'm doing this for my nephew, Nicholas. I was going to say Vincent. Vincent's my grandson. Um, Nicholas, who is an artist, he turns chunks of wood into the most beautiful, beautiful pens and um, he does wood, I guess they call it wood turning. I don't really know how it's done, but um, he's considering making videos showing how he, he does them, how he makes them. So all you have to do is go to your, wherever you put your U-Cut video editor, click it on, there you go. It's gonna take you right to your gallery and you can add videos, photos, you know, however yours is set up. So um, I took a few little silly snips, so let's just use them. Let's try this one. You just click it on and then to, and if you clicked on the wrong one, you can just click the X and it'll go away. We're gonna use that one and click the little arrow button in the orange circle. There we go, okay, let's see what this is. Hey everybody Ann here and, oops, let's start this over. Hey everybody Ann here. And Okay, I did a blooper. So you know what that means? That means we are gonna trim this sucker. So, I mean, you can just click this. Um, I usually click the actual video on and then click the trim tool all the way on the left. There we go. So let's see how much we're gonna trim off of this. Press play. Hey, everybody on here and, oops, let's start this over. Hey, everybody. So it's gonna be about right here. Hey. All right, let's take it all the way to here. Let's see if I got it right. Hey, everybody out here. Um, let's take a little bit more off. There we go. Hey, everybody. A little bit more. Okay. Hey, everybody. Oh, <laughs> let's back it up just a teensy. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, everybody out here. And I'm at my new... I call it adventure spot. It's just really a camping spot, a primitive camping spot. So let me turn this camera around and show you what it looks like. Okay, very good. Click the little red uh, check mark on the right and you've got your first Hey, clip. everybody out here and I'm at my new... Beautiful. All righty, you can take a finger or, or your stylus and advance it to the end of that video so that you can add another one by clicking on the little plus mark in the orange circle. Click it on, takes you back to your gallery. So this is after I turn my camera around and you can add multiple things at once. I just do one at a time because I'm old and um, I do stuff like that. <laughs> so click the little arrow button in the orange circle and there we go. So I'm not going to waste my time playing it. I'm just going to click this on. I'm going to click trim because most of the time I have to trim my videos. I don't know if I need to trim this one, but uh, so let's see. Here's my van. There's the new tie out I got for Betty because the other one was all twisted. Now this here, just on the other side of those hedges right over there is a a little stream. It's a little river. I'm going to have to look up to see which one it is, but let's take a little peek see over there. And I've got a nice big shade tree that I'm underneath, but then there's plenty of sun. Sorry for the camera shake. Yeah, a little stream, a little river. Um, you know, this is just boring stuff here. I don't know that you'll really, really care to see it, but um, there's fish in it too. Oh, wow. Oops, okay. Uh, so this is fine. I'm pretty sure this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and move this little bar all the way to the end just to make sure I don't need to cut anything or uh, trim anything off the end. Um, and plenty of sun too. So this is where I'm going to be. Right on. Okay, click the little orange, reddish, whatever check mark on the right and your new video has been added. Awesome. All right, let's add something else. Uh, click your little plus button in the little orange circle thingy. Um, okay, yep, let's add this one. Let's see what it, it is, what kind of wisdom I'm imparting on the world. All right, let's click this. And since I almost always trim, cut, or split something, let's click on trim. Now, one thing, if you click on trim, that's the tool that can, includes trim, cut, or split. All right, this one we are going to split. So let's move this all the way over here. 
and where do we want to split this? So guys, I don't know. I'm beginning to like the forehead. Yeah. I like it a lot more than I used to many, many years ago. So uh, I guess the forehead is going to stay and I'm going to grow out my bangs. Let's stop it right there and let's split it right there. So let's take our little, you can use your finger or a stylus and take it all the way over to where I wanted to split it. How about that? Let's split it right there. That'll be just fine. All right, click your little check mark on the right. There you go. And so let's see. Now this is just, this clip is just me all talking about my magnificent forehead. <laughs> so let's do something weird with this, okay? How about if we, well, you can increase the speed. You can take it from one time, make it go slower. I don't know if we want to make it go slower. Or you can make it go faster. So, let's make it go a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah, let's do that, okay? All right, click the check mark. Now, what else can we do to this? Um, uh, well, in that one little tool, you know, when you click it on, when you actually click the video on, um, this comes up. You can also copy it. If you copy it, it'll make an exact copy and insert it after the clip. You can crop it. Oh. And how you crop it is you pinch it with your fingers or you use a stylus or whatever, however you want to do it. And let's just say you don't want to use it. Um, you can just click the X on the left and that's all gone. Alrighty, um, let's see. There's different filters you can use. Um, I don't really want to use a filter, so will you uh, click on the original and it'll take you back. Uh, okay. How about if we add some music? Okay. Let's, these are all pro. I don't have any favorites. Ucut has a few free ones. Um, let's take a short one. Go easy. Let's go easy. All right. Okay, let's use it. Okay, oh my god. Notice notice how like totally long that is. Alright, so we can either adjust this manually. And just make it shorter. Um, but you never really know. You know, you never really know. So um, let's find out how many seconds this particular clip is. Um, we can do that by going to trim. And it's 3.2, uh, 4.1, excuse me, 4, uh, how many seconds is it? 4.1? Yeah, let's play it. Okay, it's total 4.1, but we, um, 3.2, but we slowed it down, so 4.1. So what we need to do is make this go for 4.1 seconds. There we go. And you know what? You hear how loud that is? Let's turn this volume way down, okay? You can also make it fade in and fade out. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Let's make it fade in, fade out. All right, click the little check mark on the right-hand side, and let's see how that works. Beautiful. Okay, now um, I'll tell you what. Let's add another clip. Do I have another clip? Yes, I do. Oh, I know what this is. This is Betty snoring. All righty. It's a big, long clip. So since normally I like to trim, you can click it on um, in the upper left-hand side there in the menu or just click on your video, go to trim. And you know what I think I want to do this time? I think this time I want to... Let's, we already did split, we've done trim, let's do cut. All right, so when you use cut, anything in between the two orange boxes, the one on the left and the one on the right, all that stuff in the middle is going to disappear. So let's kind of make that much disappear, okay? Click your red check mark, and let's see how that goes. Let's <laughs> you can barely hear Betty snoring. 
Okay, you can barely even tell anything happened, so that's great. It blended really smoothly. Okay, so what, what do we want to add next? I know. Let's add an emoji. Um, and you can, you know, you can choose any of these that you want. Um, let's add, since I love my doggy, right over there. Okay, that's great. Click the little check mark on the right. Very good. Now, let's see how that comes into play. Kind of just flashes onto the screen and then it disappears again. And if you don't like how long it's, it's going, you can make it go longer this way to the video beginning, or you can make it go this way to the clip end or the video end. We're just gonna kind of do it by hand. And we'll uh, do this little uh, moving thing in a bit when we add text. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see if what would happen if we oh and see here's all the flip crop rotate um record we'll do that in a minute too let's add an effect what's glitch okay let's glitch it for a little bit good all right let's add another effect how about noise tv mm, that's too much yeah all right, remove last effects. Okay, let's go back to our effect thingy and try a different one. Let's do this, monitor. All right, click that. How about if we do one more effect? You can do all kinds of effects. Let's use... <laughs> Let's use heartbeat. Yes. Great. Alrighty. Then let's use what is what is sway. Alright, I think that's good enough. And so you can keep just adding them one after the other. And let's take a look and see how that all came out. Alright, kind of subtle. I think you can make adjustments while you're in there, too. Let's see. Let's see if you can make adjustments. Let's use VHS. Okay, see? Beat. Mirror. Okay, those, these are just organizing them into different categories. Okay. So, we've got that. Now, let's see. How about if we add a photo? And go to your photos. Let's add one of my feet. Okay. And for this, um, you can go ahead and use any one of these if you want. But I always click the individual video to make it sure it ends up on that individual video. Um, let's increase the duration. Let's make it go all the way to 10 seconds. Okay. That way we can well, what can we do you can well you can rotate it click that <laughs> i'm upside down now this is good for if you are filming and your perspective is wrong and you just need to you know turn it around all righty um let's go ahead and use the record function all you have to do is Get to the part where you want to start recording click record and then click the microphone and then once you click the microphone it will start recording so let's do this oh that's right i can't do it because um, my screen recording app is uh, taking up my microphone so anyhow all you would do is tap this once talk until you're done tap it again to stop it and then it will insert it right above here and then you can make adjustments to it, okay? Not too hard. Alrighty, um, I think that, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't want it to be that long. I only want it to be eh, a couple seconds, four, four seconds, that's enough, all right? So, and all it does is it just shows 
and you can put effects on it you can put music with it whatever you want to do okay I always put an outro on my videos and I just keep it stored you go to your gallery again and click the proceed button I always click this because I like to trim things up and I already know this needs to be trimmed so I'm gonna click on in here and advance it a little bit and listen hit the bell and y'all have a good one Okay, you hear that little click and then the dead silence. I want it to stop before the click. So. Y'all have a good one. Okay, so that's going to be about here that I want to cut off. Let's make sure I did it right. Bell and y'all have a good one. There you go. Perfect. Add that there. Now that's at the end of the video. We now have a 2 minute 38 video ready to go. Except for one thing. I always like to make thumbnails out of the first screen so let's add some text okay click on your text and I'll show that to you again um, we've got trim music filter I wish you could show me I could show you pointing but um, I don't have that maybe I'll add it to the video later anyhow click on text and this little box comes it up you can immediately start typing in it so we're gonna do you cut oops you cut tutorial T U T O R I A L my fingers are fat I don't like that font so let's use Beavis okay you cut tutorial all right I already know that I'm gonna want to make this a little bit bigger and so you can move it around any way you want I think that's sufficient don't you all right I don't really like that color because um, you know, there's already so much white in it. So let's go ahead and add a color. Um, you've got all kinds of colors. These are the Google colors. And it's got a couple other palettes that are free that you can use too. Um, but Google is pretty vivid, pretty bold. So let's use, um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Purple? No, I don't like any of those. Um, let's use yellow, okay, and I want a border, um, so you just click on the, at the bottom of the screen, it says text, label, border, we're going to do a black border, and you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, I think that's a big enough, you can also do a shadow, I'm not going to do a shadow, alrighty, so that looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to move this up just a teensy. That's it. Okay, so let's see how that comes in. I like it to come in right when I'm saying, hey, everybody. So I already know I'm going to have to move it. You just got to use your finger or a stylus. Um, sometimes it's hard to kind of get it to move. Hey, everybody. Yeah, definitely need to move it. Come on goodness why won't it make let me move it it's being stubborn there we go I'm using my finger it's it worked a little bit better using my finger okay hey everybody out here all right that came in a little bit late let's move it a little bit closer to the beginning hey everybody out right. here I think that's good let's try it one more time hey everybody out here all right and I also like another one oops I got you just click that box on again Okay, I also like to put Anne's Tiny Life on there because that's the name of my channel. So we'll click on text again and let's type that in. Anne's. Oops. <laughs> my fingers up at it. Anne's. Good lord. Thank you. Tiny life all right I don't really like this font for my um, like my signature I guess you could call it so I use this and I don't want to use the same color I usually just put this in white with a black border make it a little bit bigger take it and move it on over and that is sufficient okay so click your little uh, red check mark up there in the middle to the right and so let's see if this comes in at the right time 
Hey, everybody, Anne here, and Just I'm... Just up a little bit. Okay. Try it again. Hey, everybody, Anne here, and oh, I'm at... Late. Betty's Whoa. starting to bark at somebody. Alrighty. Try it again. Up a little bit more. Very good. Hey, everybody, Anne here, I think and... That's I... There we go. Hey, everybody, Anne here, and I'm at my new, I call it adventure spot. All right, see how those kind of both ended at different times? I don't like that. So this clip is relatively small. It's only like 12 seconds. Um, I usually only let the, the word stay on for about 10 seconds, so if it was a really long clip, I would split the clip at 10 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and do that just for the heck of it. All righty. Uh, trim we're going to split it oh this is already trimmed so no nope, we're not going to do that um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just move this over and it'll give you a choice clip end video end um, oops you got to be fast clip end that'll take you to the end of the clip and everything will be uniform because sometimes trying to move it like a half a second or something or a point one or a point two can be tricky and uh, me personally I like all of the text to disappear all at once. So let's see how that goes. Hey everybody out here and I'm at my new, I call it adventure spot. It's just really a camping spot, a primitive camping spot. So let me turn this camera around and show you what it looks like. My lord I'm annoying. Here's my van. Okay so that is basically the video. We are done with this video. All right we've got this clip here that shows all that stuff. Um, it's really nothing too fantastic. We've got the clip of me and my magnificent forehead. We've got the clip that we altered. Um, and did we flip it? Uh, we didn't flip it. I wanted to flip that. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna grow my bangs. There we go. Okay. Got the music. Uh, all right. Okay, and then we've got the clip of Betty snoring that we, if you can remember correctly, we cut that one. Um, we're not going to cut it again, though. And then we've got this video where we inserted the emoji as well as some cool effects. Right on. And then we went to the picture of my feet. So cool. And as always, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one. Right on. Okay, so we are good. If you look up at the upper right hand corner, it says save. We are going to click that on and it'll give you a choice. High quality, whatever. Um, definitely high. It's only 292.9 megabytes. Um, and I always choose to keep a draft just in case something screws up. I can go back to the draft and keep working on it. All right, we're going to press save. Now, if you've got the free version, more than likely, they're going to throw an add up at you before it will start initializing. You can click out of it. So cute. All right, give me my X. Click out of that. Okay. And it'll convert the video for you. And... Um, Let's go ahead and just close this out so you can see what happens. Now see, you can, it, it is working in the background for you. So you can go get on YouTube, you can get on Facebook, and as soon as it do, is done, it will give you a little ding or a little, you know, sound notification that it's done. And then that is it. So 